Well, hello, YouTube. And literally, I'm going to name this video the hardest video I will ever make. And um, I uh, had to pray for strength and clarity when I make this video. Um, and uh, so bear with me. And um, I'm just going to apologize beforehand how I look. <laughs> I know uh, many of you have reached out uh, to other people, other groups, other communities, making, uh, no, you've noticed that I haven't been around and um, that was by no uh, choice of my own. So I am so sorry about that. I think in my, um, what have I been on YouTube now? I don't know, I can't uh, think of how many years um, it's been quite a few. <laughs> I've never taken, I don't think, this long of a break. So, so I apologize for that. And I'm making this video now, not that I'm ready, because I don't, I don't honestly think I'll ever be ready. Um, but I don't want you guys to worry. And so, because I've just become aware of, um, of you guys worrying about me, I wanted to come out and, um, I, I don't want you guys worrying about me. So, um, so I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible. And I, it's like totally wrong choice of words, but, um, I don't want this to be a very long video. Um, but I want to explain where I've been and, um, some of the, uh, changes that um, will be taking place on the channel just for a little bit um, and I hope that you all hang in there with me that is my hope so uh, the night before Valentine's Day um, and m many people that follow me on Facebook and Instagram you'll know this because I posted a picture of it uh, we took the the kids Mason and Mina uh, my eight-year-old son and my five-year-old daughter uh, out for a Valentine's Day dinner at, to our favorite Chinese Thai restaurant. And um, and uh, it began to snow that night and uh, we left out of the restaurant. I don't remember what time, honestly, um, but it wasn't late that, I think the restaurant closes at eight, so it wasn't very late. And uh, when we left out of there and headed home, um, we were struck head on by a um, by a drunk driver. Um, his the investigation has been completed now, and his uh, blood or his alcohol level, I think it is, um, was a I believe a point uh, three five four. So technically, I don't even know how he was, uh, even able to drive, um, because he should have been close to alcohol poisoning and killing himself. But, um, he managed to get in his truck and drive and hit us head on. Um, the impact killed my husband instantly that's what they that's what the uh that's what his autopsy shows so i'm hoping that he didn't suffer but matt for those of you who have loved matt for those of you who love matt i'm so sorry i know for many of you matt was one of your favorite parts of my videos when he would do his taste tests and his hot chews and and I don't even, I can't even, I still can't wrap my brain around life without him in it. He was such a pivotal part of my channel and me building my channel because he was my biggest cheerleader and he just, he thought there wasn't anything that I couldn't do. And, and he was my life, he was my rock, he was my sword and my shield. And uh, 
the heaviness and the burning of his loss is, uh, I, it's indescribable. Um, my children were also uh, injured. Um, Mason, he endured uh, two broken arms. Uh, his um, right arm, uh, his bone um, came out of his skin. And so he was the more urgent of the two. Um, Mina uh, also broke uh, one arm and uh, from the shoulder down to the wrist. Uh, she also has a huge laceration on her forehead. And she also has um, a, uh, like a whiplash and a broken clavicle. So she is in a neck brace for the next uh, six to eight weeks, six to eight weeks. Hopefully I said that clear enough. Uh, they spent three days in the hospital. Uh, they are released now and they are staying with my sister who is taking great care of them and taking them to all of their appointments and um, along with their brothers. Their brothers stayed in the hospital as their parent um, the entire time so they were never alone. Um, uh, but they are suffering greatly emotionally and um, they are, they have seen um, some, um, some grief counseling and some child psych, many child psychologists. So they're receiving a lot of help. Um, they are, uh, but they are suffering uh, with a lot of anxiety, uh, being afraid of being alone, afraid of the dark. Um, they are uh, afraid of the car. Um, they are afraid that they're never going to see me again. So it is important that I get home to them, uh, very soon. Um, I, uh, was critically injured and, um, my biggest injury, um, I, I was taken to three hospitals, uh, one local hospital to stabilize me enough to transfer me to our trauma hospital uh, in our area. And then uh, once I was at the trauma um, hospital, um, I was too critically injured for them, for their care. So I was uh, life flighted to the only uh, hospital that would that could treat me and that was uh, the uh, U of M in Ann, Ar in Ann Arbor. Um, and uh, where I stayed um, three days uh, with CAT scans of my brain. I had a pretty significant brain bleed and they didn't know if I would be uh, brain dead or not. And um, so they had to watch me very closely on how my bleed went. Um, I was told uh, normally they would have drilled holes in my skull to relieve some of the pressure, but I was too critically injured and I would not have survived that procedure. So, um, so uh, instead they just waited and continued with the CAT scans. And um, thankfully my uh, brain bleed um, kind of uh, slowed down and kind of controlled itself. And I was able to um, receive some surgeries that I needed. Um, my right leg was completely crushed and so there's nothing left of it. So we had to uh, undergo two surgeries. One I know lasted eight hours um, and it is now completely replaced with rods and plates and screws and all of that. Um, my other foot is broken. So I've got one broke, I've got two broken feet, uh, a reconstructed leg, um, the uh, concussion, the, the brain bleed. Um, I also have um, two uh, broken arms and um, are unable to use um, use my hands and bear any weight uh, from the elbow down. I also received um, six broken uh, ribs. Uh, one of my ribs uh, punctured my lung, collapsing it, my left lung, my left lung, my right lung. And um, I had to get a chest tube for that. And um, so I was in the ICU for two weeks um, where uh, I finally uh, was able to graduate out of there. And um, 
many people shocked, many doctors shocked because uh, it seemed to be half of them didn't think I was gonna make it. Half of them thought I might and um, those who did um, didn't know how long I would be in the ICU. Um, I graduated down to the trauma uh, floor and uh, there I awaited uh, a couple of days to, um, I, my injuries are so uh, unique is what I've been told uh, because uh, usually when you have an injury to your leg, well, you can use your hands or if you have injuries to your hands, well, you can use your legs. Um, I can't use any of my limbs. So, um, so I was too complex of a case for, uh, to receive any therapies there at the hospital. Um, so I had to wait for a rehabil re uh, rehabilitation center and I'm so sorry. Um, my brain injury has really, um, made words hard and my mem memory a little, um, a little jumpy. So, um, so that's where I am now. I'm at a rehabilitation um, nursing facility and I am receiving uh, lots of therapies so that I can um, strengthen my body and learn how to stand and learn how to walk and learn how to use my hands again and, um, and uh, hopefully get back to doing the things that bring me joy. Um, I mean, there are people, there are, there are small pockets of people that know, uh, close family and friends, um, know, um, and, uh, my, um, my inner circle membership knows, uh, because uh, those people I, um, work so closely with and have daily contact with. Um, and um, when I, you know, didn't show up, they were very worried um, uh, because they're in my membership. So they have my, my phone number. They're able to text me all day long. So uh, when I stopped answering those texts, um, many of them uh, became worried. So, um, so they've been in the know and, um, like I said, family and friends now know. Um, and so many have reached out uh, wanting to help us. And um, I have always said that, you know, I would never do a GoFundMe unless, you know, there was like some dire emergency where my children needed it. Um, so my son, my oldest son, Jake, who's 25, um, along with my sister, but it was, it was Jake's idea, uh, really wants to put a GoFundMe out there for, um, not so much me, but more for my children, um, so that they can continue to have a home while I recover because, um, I am now the breadwinner of this family and, um, and I don't know when the next time it is that I'll be able to make a video for you guys, like a video that you're here for the channel for. And so, um, so I'm going to allow him to do that so that my children can continue to have a home and, um, you know, have all their needs met, um, while I recover. Um, right now I'm unable, I'm in, because I'm in a nursing care facility in Michigan, uh, we're not allowed visitors. So I'm unable to even see my children. Um, they're allowed to come to the window and wave to me through the window, which they actually did yesterday. Um, but Mason just cried because he just wants his mommy. So I'm working very hard um, to get my body moving again so that I can get home to them. Um, in order to do that, uh, I had to find somebody who would come and stay with me and uh, help me uh, 
you know, um, so that maybe I could leave here a little bit earlier than, than normal if I was going home by myself to take care of my children on my own. Um, so Mandy, more to life, many of you know her and her channel. Um, she's actually coming to Michigan to stay with me, to live with me um, indefinitely until I don't need it anymore. Um, I'm hoping that's not very long, um, but she's, I, I don't know another girlfriend who would do that for for me, you know? Well, I have a couple girlfriends that would do it for me if they could. So anyway, so Mandy is on her way and um, she will be here and she's going to take care of my house and my chickens and having her here will allow my dog to come home. My dog is currently staying with my son, Luke. And so, um, so, uh, Mandy will be here and then that way I can continue to receive therapy hopefully at home uh, with the added help of Mandy being there with me. So that's the plan right now. Um, I don't want my channel to change. You know, here on the Needy Homesteader, um, it's about, you know, um, learning to be a little bit more self-sufficient and um, and learning to do things the old way and preparing for life's emergencies, right? No matter big, how big or how small. And I can't imagine a bigger emergency than this for me. Um, but I, I'm sharing this with you because I know I'm not alone. I know that there have been other women, um, men, uh, families who have endured tragedies like this. So I'm just putting another face to it. So I don't want to turn the channel into um, like a, um, like a, a, tra a tragic story. Um, that is not my goal. My goal is to continue to serve you guys and um, to inspire you guys and to empower you guys and to know that if I can do it, you can do it too. Um, I've got great work, big work to do and, um, and I'm hoping that you can love me through it and stand by me. And when I was um, in the ICU, uh, Matt it came to me and I made a promise to him that I would not be a martyr and I would not um, be an all in all out girl, that I would um, not be prideful or um, be strong and, you know, take everything on that I would humble myself and I would ask for mercy and I would ask for help. And so that's what I'm doing now from all of you. I hope that you stick with me on the channel. I hope you don't leave me. I hope you don't think that the channel is going to go away and, and, um, or be changed in any way. Um, we are talking, I am in talks with a couple of girlfriends of mine who uh, might, uh, we might do um, something fun on the channel, like, you know, and like something inspired by Needy and do some guest um, vloggers for you guys who um, who have made their own creations inspired by maybe something that I've done or something that I've made. Um, I thought that would be a lot of fun and, and, and give you content while I'm here, convalescing and healing and um, if you want updates on how I'm doing or how the children are doing you know I don't like to put my kids on the internet much I mean photos are one thing but I don't like to put them on the video because they haven't asked to be on the video um, but if you would like updates uh, occasionally on how I'm doing or how the kids are doing I could do something like that for you um, but I'm going to be back and I'm going to be stronger than ever. And I'm going to hopefully inspire strength and hope and resilience 
and um, and I I hope you stay with me and I hope you continue to watch my journey um, although it, it will be a much different one than I had ever anticipated it being um, I'm so sorry that I'm so stumbly. I just, this really is the hardest video I've ever had to make. I ask that you pray for me and you pray for my children, all of my children, Matt's children. I say all of mine because all eight. Um, the loss of their dad or their stepdad is almost unbearable for, for them. He was such a pivotal role in their lives. Um, when we get through this, I'm gonna do something very special for uh, all of our friends and family and for our babies. Um, If you wanna help, um, which I know so many of you are gonna be so generous and gracious, and you just wanna help, um, it's not about uh, the money for you, it's just a way to touch my family's lives. Um, I'm gonna allow you to do that. I'm going to not be prideful, and, um, and I'm going to say any and all help would be great for me right now because I can't even hold my children right now like I can't see them I can't touch them I can't hug them I can't kiss them and um, I just I want them to be okay so down below I'm gonna leave a link to the GoFundMe that my son Jake is going to run um, from that uh, because Jake has taken over all of my uh, bills. He has uh, Matt's phone and all of the apps and all of the things that he needs to get everything paid so that I don't have to worry about it from here. I mean, I couldn't anyway, I can't type anything. So, um, so Jake is going to be paying all my bills while I'm here. So I don't, so financially he's gonna take care of uh, everything uh, for me from our um, bank account. Um, and uh, he said that uh, if you donate to the GoFundMe, he will continue to uh, make sure the bills are paid so that Mason and Mina continue to have a home and heat and lights and all the things while I um, get back on my feet and, and I'm able to um, earn um, the income needed now to uh, to take care of us. Um, so thank you in advance if you participate in that. Um, if you don't, that's fine too. Um, I'm asking that you just hopefully stay with me on the channel and you don't leave me um, because, um, because in my mind, <laughs> There's so many things that I want to do and so many things I want to accomplish and so many things I want to try. Um, I don't know if I'll get a garden in this year. I'll be honest with you on that. Uh, I know that was going to be our, like our workshop in March. We were going to do a grow station and start our seeds. Um, I'm not going to be able to do any of that, but um, just gardening alone, I don't know if my leg will take any, be able to bear the weight of like gardening on it. So um, I might not garden this year, although the nurses uh, here uh, at my uh, rehab facility are uh, getting together and they're going to, they wanna throw a garden party for me <laughs> where everybody comes over to the house and um, plants, plants, you know, so, um, which is incredible. Um, the people around me have poured love over me. So know that I am in great care, in great hands. I am being loved on constantly. Um, people that just 
meet me and hear the story are um, are uh, inspired. So um, I know that I'm in very good hands. And um, in just a few days, they have already um, got me moving my my bionic leg. So, um, so I've got a lot of work to do, you guys. And um, I don't know how often I can jump on. I can post photos over on Instagram and Facebook if you'd be interested in that of just little updates. Um, but I really can't do a whole lot right now uh, while I'm in casts. And that's just the truth. Um, I can't even hold my phone. I have to have it on a holder because I'm not supposed to hold my phone. It's too heavy. So, um, all right. So with that, I hope you uh, stick with me and uh, pray for us. And, um, and for those of you who loved my husband, I'm so sorry. I can't even, uh, my, my mind hasn't even uh, been able to actually wrap around uh, the loss of him yet. And it probably won't for a very long time. So, um, So we will talk soon, I hope, and uh, I hope you are all well, and um, thank you so much for uh, worrying about me and um, praying for me and um, wondering where I was and hoping I was okay. Um, it means a lot to me, and, um, and I'm not going anywhere. Um, in fact, I need all of you more than ever now. Um, because I've got it all riding on my shoulders now, right? <laughs> so, thank each and every one of you for being here. And, uh, I hope you stay with me. And if we do the, the fun little Inspired by Needy series, I hope you, uh, enjoy it and participate in it. Um, because I think that would be a lot of fun. I know I'd enjoy watching it. So, um... With that being said, you take care, you guys. God bless, and um, and we'll talk soon. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.